Hi, my name's Rhonda Third, and I'm a Creative Memories Consultant from Campbell River, British Columbia. And I'm here to present sketch number two from the May 2021 virtual crop. This is my version of the sketch using the Homestead collection. And this collection was perfect for photos from a trip to my brother's where we met his horses and went on a wagon ride, only to have the axle break, the wheel fall off, and everybody had to walk home. So I decided to create an embellishment of a wagon wheel and a border to go along with the sketch. All of the other embellishments on this layout are from the Homestead collection and they are gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how to make this border and the wagon wheel embellishments. So let's tuck that aside. The first thing that we are going to deal with is the border. So to make this, you are going to need the small circle from the cutting system and you're going to need the green blade and the red blade. So first you'll cut a circle with the green blade and then without moving the circle, you will cut again with the red blade. And this will give you two pieces, both parts of the border. So for this piece, the round piece, all I did was use the border maker system with the star cartridge and just cut out some stars and put them into the middle of the circle. Now the other piece is the ring and this becomes part of our wheel. So once you've got that, you're going to cut yourself a strip that's 1 8 of an inch by 12 and then you're going to cut it up into segments that are 1 and 3 8 of an inch long. And then once you have your little segments, you're just going to add them to your wheel. So the first ones I went from 12 till 6, 3 till 9, and then in the middle. You might need to put a little bit of glue to hold them in the middle as well. And then on the other side, I simply took a hole punch, punched some black to get the center of my wheel. Now once you've got enough of those done, then you're going to cut a piece of paper that's a quarter inch by 12 and this is how we start our border. You will put a wheel and then around and then a wheel and then around and just keep going. Let's look at the layout again for reference. So there you go. Wheel, round, all the way along and then I also cut an extra to use as an embellishment up here with the horse punch. So that's it. Simple wagon wheel for our border. Now, for the larger wagon wheel embellishment, you're going to need the large circle, and you're going to need the blue blade and the red blade. And you'll do the same process. Cut with the blue, keep the circle, cut with the red. And you'll get two pieces, one, the outer ring, and then the inner circle. The inner circle we will not use, so you can just put that aside. Then when you're done, you're going to need to cut a piece that is a quarter inch wide by 12 inches long, and you'll cut that up into segments that are about three and a quarter inches. And then with those segments, you're simply going to repeat the process and lay them along your circle until you get your wheel done like this. Now I also took the small circle and the blue blade to cut a small circle to be the center of my wheel. So that is the large wagon wheel embellishment and it's on the layout here as part of the embellishment with the journaling box. Now if you don't have a wagon wheel layout to do, you could use this as a wheel for a motorcycle or a bike or a kid's wagon. You could you change it around a bit and make it into a steering wheel for a new driver layout or a new car or maybe a road trip. There's a, a few different versions that you can use this for with your layouts. So let's take a look again at the sketch number two. There's the left side and there's the right side of the sketch. I like this sketch and I hope you do too. I look forward to seeing what you create 